Hello guys, welcome back to Multi Magic Channel. In this video, we are going to watch the authentication using Firebase. So we are going to cover two types of authentication. One is using email and password, and the other one is using Google Sign Up. Okay. So for that, what you need to do is you need to set up Firebase account, which I am going to add a small MP4 MP4 video in the github link which i'm going to provide so you can follow that mp4 video to set up an account in firebase and you can add some sign in providers that is google sign in provider and uh, email sign in provider okay because we are going to focus on these two methods right so email and password and uh, sign up in google <coughs> okay so if you don't have any account already so what you can do is you can register else if you have an account already what you can do is you can just log in with those credentials whatever you have clean so as of now i don't have any users let me show you see this is the dashboard of authentication where uh, you can see the sign in methods which i have choose this email and password and uh, the other sign in provider is google so in the user section you you can see that i don't have any users right now okay so let me move that screen to other screen okay so let us create a user so i'm going to pick my email id whatever i have so and i'm going to give the credentials okay so if i click on this register yep see there you have this password validation too okay let me keep the password valid password okay so if i click on register yes uh, the registration is done and uh, we will have a beautiful message with uh, a good background like welcome vedigiri hr@gmail.com and uh, we will have a button to log out okay but uh, before that let me show you that whether the user is created or not so if i click the reload button yes if you you can see here right so this is a email which i use for registration and uh, yep we have the user registered in firebase so if i log out and if i try to log in with the credentials whatever i just use for my registration and if i click on this login then we'll navigate to the login page clean so coming up to sign in with google uh, let me delete the register i mean the user which i just registered because i am going to use the same email id uh, to register using with google okay <coughs> yep you can see here right so there are no users okay uh, okay let me sign in with let me press the button where it is written sign in with google and if i click on that we'll have a beautiful pop up which uh, firebase automatically gives us okay so there i am going to enter my email and i want to enter the password also uh, yeah. sorry i am very bad at remembering passwords so let us wait so i actually yep yeah, yeah, you can see here right so here we have uh, logged in with uh, my email id and uh, we also uh, got a success message that to welcome so and so person with email id and we can just log out if we want, if we want to log out okay okay yes that's all uh, this project is about this uh, building block is about so basically i was focusing on the whole authentication process functionality using this sign in google and uh, i mean google sign in functionality and uh, email password sign in and uh, registration functionality okay feel free to use this template in your projects too uh, but definitely we'll update this uh, authentication system to role based authentication system and uh, we'll try to make that uh, we'll try to make this building block as separate building block in such a way that you can e easily integrate this building block into your existing projects okay so for now i was just focusing on the functionality so i implemented the functionality okay so let us uh, dive into the source code and let us see what it has okay 
okay let me close all files <coughs> okay so this was my this is my Re react firebase auth project where we'll have index.js this is the initial file which react loads as you guys know we were uh, we have been discussing about this file in previous videos if you want to uh, get to know about this file you can just uh, watch the first video of this tutorial series okay so basically it will call the app component where we'll go here okay in app component uh, i have some basic uh, imports and if you observe i imported this auth from firebase config file which is this so actually you uh, it is it is mandatory that you keep these details hidden but i am exposing this because anyway i am going to delete this project in my firebase so there's no point uh, of using these same details okay after this uh, video uploads then i will delete this project okay so yep uh, basically we'll uh, while creating the project we will get a firebase config which we have to paste it here okay and you can uh, paste your respective firebase co configuration in this file itself okay and after that uh, this is what this auth is and in firebase auth we are just checking that uh, if a user is logged in or not using this api on auth state changed okay and we have two components login and register and we have another component uh, which is profile where uh, you just saw in the demo right welcome so and so email and there's a login button that is implemented in this and the login form is in this and the registration form is in this okay okay uh, yep uh, so uh, in use effect i was just checking that uh, if auth state is changed then set user state it's just a state variable where i am going to get the user details okay and uh, also i am going to set background image each and every time you refresh the project you'll find a different background image i i just did that for fun okay uh, that's all that's all about uh, that is what happening in the use effect so if our state is changed then we'll set the user data in user state variable okay these all are the stylings and yep this is app component which uh, loads initially so for that app component we are applying this app style okay and in routes we have this login route sign up route okay uh, but initially what we'll do is if we have user state then we'll open the profile component if we don't have we'll open the login component it makes sense right if a user logins then only we have to show the profile component that is what we are doing here that is the logic we are performing okay so let us go to the login component once okay i'll go from here itself okay so in the login component as usual we have uh, uh, this what do you say firebase config uh, which the details what you need to fill uh, okay and in firebase from firebase auth we will import these three apis one is sign in with email and password and another one is google auth provider and sign in with Pop. okay basically in the demo you have seen that like when i clicked on this sign in with google there is a pop-up right so that is this okay and when i clicked on when i entered my email and password credentials and when i clicked on login then this api is going to fire okay clean so yep react google button uh, for this beautiful button i just uh, in i just installed this react google button uh, nbm library so using that i imported this google button and i just used as a component okay so this gives the default ui and default stylings uh, how the google sign with google button looks like okay clean so yep let us start so this is a login component and we are using uh, use navigate 
from react router dom to navigate from login to register register to login and again uh, login to profile these kind of navigations and all done by this okay and i have some state variables uh, and we have this change handler uh, where i am going to set the user details uh, set the user details basically okay so and we have this form to validate whether the user is uh, whether the user had entered the email or password suppose if you see that uh, if i don't enter and password and if i clicked on this login so we are going to show that email is required and password is required so that validation is going on this is going in this okay so basically our main focus is on functionalities right so let us go to this functionality before explaining this functionality like sign in with google and login handler so let I, let me show you the ui code uh, very quickly okay so we have a form where we have email email input and input to take the email and another input to take the password and we have a button which is a login button and uh, we have a nav link where if we click on this uh, we'll navigate to the registration form clean and we have a google button which is this okay so this is where this is an link what you just saw and this is a sign in with google and this is a form which i was explaining about okay so if i click on this nav link or uh, let me start with this login only so if i click on this login this is of type submit okay so in form while we are submitting we're just calling this login handler so let us go to this login handler what it does is so basically it validates the form and uh, if we have any errors in the form like uh, email is not filled or password is not filled then uh, this api i mean this state variable for this state variable we are, we are going to uh, pass error so that is why it showed this message email is required okay so yep uh, after getting all the keys uh, what we'll do is we'll extract the email and we'll extract the password and we'll uh, pause the auth we'll pass the auth which is exported from here to this function as parameters so here if you observe this sign in with email and password which i imported from firebase auth if you observe clean so all we are doing is we are just calling this api and we are passing a rath and email and password that's all that's all what it will return us is it will return us the user credential and uh, once we get the user credentials we will set the user state okay we will set the user state and we will navigate to the home that home variable actually we have we got the user state now right so once after user state uh, has some value then it will open the profile value that is what happening uh, if you observe actually i remove the user right so let me register an user again that way i can show you the working actually okay okay yeah uh yep we we got the user details and that is why this profile component is displayed clean so yep the same thing happened uh, the same thing will happen with sign in google too so let us quickly explore this sign in with google api what does it does uh, yes yeah so once we get the user details and uh, it will navigate to the profile page okay now if we click on this nav link i mean not yet registered or register now okay so if we click on that what it is doing is uh, let me click on that so it will open the sign up form clean so let us uh, go to the registration form and this is the form what you are seeing here right now clean 
so in this also uh, we have this we imported this firebase uh, i mean auth which uh, we got using this firebase config and uh, we have this uh, react we have this import from react router dom and these are the basic stylings and we imported this this is the very important like okay we import we imported create user with email and password so in login page what you have seen is sign in with email and password now you are seeing this api create user with email and password so it makes sense by the name itself so what it does is it creates an user with email and password in the firebase clean so here also the same thing happens we are just uh, uh, we are just giving some state variables and uh, we are validating the form whether he submitted or not basically uh, yep we are validating the form and here if you observe the sign up handler this function keep this function in mind okay so we have a form where we are taking the email password and retyping the password for confirmation okay and once after entering all the details we are just clicking this button register and as you know this is of type submit so it will call the sign up handler what it does is it validates a form and after that it will create the user with email id and password same the same thing will will pass the auth as parameter auth email and password as parameters if you observe in login and registration what we are the parameters are same okay the api call differs okay so in the in the login page while we are clicking the login button so it's it calls the api sign in with user email and password sign in user with email and password okay whatever but when it comes to the registration it creates the user with email and password got it after this creating username uh, user with email and password what it will do is it will uh, just navigate to the page clean uh, navigate to the profile page okay so yep that is what happening in the registration and login now in login let us see this uh, till now we covered this login we covered this registration and let us see this login with google okay so when we clicked on this login with google it will call this function that is sign with google the same way we'll just uh, we just imported the google auth provider right so what we'll do is uh, we'll just take an instance of provider and uh, what we'll do is uh, if you observe in the demo when we clicked on this sign in with google so it pop up then different ui okay for that pop up we are sending this auth and we are sending this provider clean so once after that uh, sign in with pop up i mean the if we sign in with google what it will return is it will return the user credentials okay so there there we are uh, calling this state variable that is set user state and we are just setting the value uh, and after that we are just navigating to the home so basically we have now we have this user state variable so that is why it is opening the profile profile component okay so yeah guys uh, i think i explain the functionality of what is happening in the when we click on this login and what is happening when we click on this register and what is happening when we click on this sign in with google okay and the basic functionality behind that and from now what you can do is you can add this uh, role based authentication system uh, and what else so you can actually implement this protected routes and all okay so yeah uh, as i said i was mainly focusing on the functionality so i just explain the functionality whatever whatever is happening behind the scenes okay so yep i i'll try my best uh, to upload a video on role based authentication system uh, with this demo itself so yep uh, thank you all for watching this